Oh, bakery around is back. I know you've all been waiting for it. We're going to get a little bit political for this episode, just to get our uh, feet wet a little bit. Now here's the thing, we went out to all the politicians and we're like, who wants to be on the bakery run to preach, to let us know? And nobody got back to us, okay? Except for one person, and we're gonna go and see them now. Let's go. It's not, it's not her though. It's not, it's not the titty lady. Ah. There she is, there she is. Hey boss, how are you? Oh God, I'm so happy to see you, man. Thank you for inviting us over here. This is Pai Fee. We've been to Pai Fee before, but I know you, this is your spot, right? It's a legendary spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I live just down the road, and obviously I got my uh, campaign office on the corner out there. Uh, but also, these guys are the only guys that are open uh, early in the morning on Mondays when I'm heading down to do TVNZ breakfast. Oh, man. So, yeah, uh, it's me and the tradies working on the CRL, and we're here for our veggie breakfast pie as I, we walk on I, down I, the city. When you said that it was open in the morning, the first thing I said is, oh, wait, we're getting off the benders. Yeah. Straight here, like, oh, no, I forgot who I'm talking to. <laughs> not saying that you're not into the benders, but yeah. Not like, saying, not saying. Ve veggies, all right? Yeah. You're a vegetarian? I am. I want to pander to the, to the audience. Yep. I could say I'm a vegetarian as well. Yep, you could say. I'm a vegetarian <laughs> today. Just maybe. You good can, acting, good acting. Yes, yeah. you can, um, you can show, me the, show me the way of the veggie pie. Show you the one. So what is the go-to that you always go My to? My go-to is the veggie breakfast pie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so this got everything that you need. It's got spinach, baked beans, hash browns, and cheese. What about our sweets? Are you a sweet person? I don't get a sweet in the morning, eh? But I reckon... What about a little little something something over here? This chocolate lava cake? <laughs> oh yeah, no, chocolate lava cake. That's, that's, that's done. That's okay. done. That's okay. done. Okay. Do you want to drink as well? Do you want no? a drink? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get well, a coffee. Absolutely. What's your what's your go-to coffee? Uh, oat milk flat white. Oh. Hey, uh. <laughs> oh. look at that, eh? That's look at the, that. Yeah, where's your keep green, cup? That's where's the most green cup? thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you. That's a coin. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> hey, that's a that's a decline. Thank, <laughs> Thank you all. Ooh. Okay, walk me through this. Yep. It's we'll pull it out and give it a good. Ooh. Yep. Presentation is. Nice. Look at look at that glaze. Mm. What's a, for, for a good pie, yep. consistence of yep. you. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you consider a good pie? Well, I consider a good pie something that I can hold when I'm walking down the street. Yeah, yep. yeah, and as you can see, the integrity of this, oh, it's on, it's on. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very strong. And also, if you look at the way that it's layered, as soon as we start getting into it, all of the ingredients kind of hold their integrity as mm. well. The form of the pie, uh, the whole way through the experience, it's, oh. it's, it's pretty good, it's held together. As I was saying, like, I have spilt coffee while I've been juggling the pie and the coffee, but I've never spilt my pie on myself. That shows priority. Right? <laughs> there is that. Maybe, that maybe it's no food waste. Priority no food waste. is like, hold up. <laughs> if I had to choose out of my children here, <laughs> it's either my coffee my, and my beautiful re re reusable cup. Morena. Morena. It's, it's, the, it's the green party. <laughs> um, by the way, you can vote for whoever you want to vote for. I'm not yeah. here to go, hey, vote for this. You know, it's just on the cup. I, th I think I think your people's uh, far too smart to be indoctrinated. Mm. You know what? Do your research. We're going to take two big two bites. Two, two big first. bites. Two big two bites. bites. Okay, on and camera. Then... We're going to take two big no, bites. No, no, no. We're on camera. Okay, cool. Yeah. Of course we're there. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I it's just the mean the, the, the politicians though, with the with the food in their mouth. Oh, not... no, no, no. That's, no, no, no. That's different. For, that's, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. All right, two bites. Is that it? Yep, and right. we should. Normally we say two bites and get to the meat, but mm. two bites to the flavor. Mm -hmm. Here we go. As you can see. Oh. Yeah, is that layering? Mm. That consistency? We need to have some vegetables going on in uh -huh. here. There's that spinach. I don't see why you come here mm -hmm. in the morning. That hash brown on the top, eh? Oh, oh, I don't even get to the hash brown. Oh, man. I don't know you. how they do it. I oh. don't even know if it's like a circular hash brown or something, but you pretty much get all the ingredients yeah. the whole way through, and that's what I love as well. I'll tell you what I like and I didn't think I would, mm -hmm. as the baked beans. It's the texture of something, you know, smooth. It's approximate to mint, say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in terms of, because we've never done a breakfast pie. Uh, we've done a bit of bacon and eggs and all mm -hmm, that stuff. Mm -hmm. but we've never done a breakfast pie like mm -hmm. this. This is, this is everything you want in breakfast, right? Absolutely. With the exception of bacon, <laughs> and, you know, maybe steak. Let's go out of 10 on this one. Out of 10. Out of 10. Oh, look, bro. I mean, I recommended that we come here. I recommended that we oh, get yeah. this. This is my top 10. Oh, that's right. Now. This is 10 out of 10. I'm going to go to 9.5. Yeah, how are we going to rationalize that? What What would an extra 0.5 give you? Uh, Gold plated or? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Wait, actually, mm -hmm. I'm going to come back to that when I get to the hash brown. I'm going to say 
the hash brown has made it better. But if I say a 10 out of 10 now, everyone's Yeah, then go, you're competing oh, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Nonsense. <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Fair. But no, nah, it is great. I do like the spinach. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I thought the spinach would be a little bit off in terms of university. Should it be free? I do. Yeah. I do think that university should be free. I think that trades training should also be free. I think that we also have work to do when it comes to supporting our apprentices because there's some pastoral care stuff back, that needs right? to be addressed there. Yeah. Hard out. But, you know, the argument that I so frequently hear is, oh, well, you know, the people who end up going on to do tertiary education can potentially end more, uh, end up earning more in the long run. Mm. Okay, well, if that's the case, firstly, tell that to the teachers, the midwives, the nurses and others who yeah. decide to train yeah. what they train not for the glory or for the glamour or for the recognition or for the paycheck but because they want to contribute to society but secondly if you're concerned about people making more in the long run maybe we fix our tax system so that we ensure we remove the barriers for the people who are trying to get access to that education so that it's available to all kids because yeah. there are currently Einsteins that are in lower income communities who are not able to untap their potential I've taught them yeah. I've been a teacher, I've taught them, yeah. I know which yeah. ones they are and, and I know the ones that really try yeah. and they are from our lower socio socioeconomic but, but place. this is the thing which again just like if we're to talk about how it's made to be or like super overcomplicated and we make so much of this stuff out to be a matter of personal responsibility I see that as an abdication of political responsibility because politicians actually know this stuff successive governments have commissioned research and evidence on this stuff but they're very happy to throw it by the wayside for sake of the rhetoric and the political barbs and stuff the reality is that far from education being a pathway out of poverty that many use in their rhetoric we know that poverty is the major determinant of educational oh. outcomes. So that's yes. the barrier. Address that, and we are unlocking the potential of our kids. I'll tell you what, we've been on bakery runs with, you know, like Joseph Parker and all that. No, we haven't, we've had a lot of people to stop us, but not as much as today. It's been great. These are my people. I know, that's <laughs> yeah. what's cool about yeah. it. It's not like just, oh, hey man, can I get a photo? Like, these people see you all the time. Yeah. Here's our lava cake. Look at that. Oh. Woof. Check that out, brother. Mm. That's gooey. Aye, aye, aye. Right. Mm. Holy. Wow. Where are we ranking this? We were ranking this on what's the what's the scale? Ten. Are we, uh, the, but but are we like putting this in the and all the, the all sweets of all time? All sweets of all time. All sweets of all time. You know every, everything that you've had. <gasps> Man, sweet. look. So it's good. It's good, but I don't think it quite ranks where my pie's at. Because this is this is my top pie oh, of all okay. time, no, right? No, no, no. So they're separate. They're separate. We're, we're, we're just sweet is, things. And look, this is God savory. tier. This is God tier. Uh, and what this, tier is this? I mean, this is good. I'd say maybe like 7.58. 7, okay. Yeah, yeah, like there's, 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 room, there's, there's yeah. room to. I'm going with an 8 on An this. 8. I like True. just how moist and soft this Yeah, is. it is good. And also, like, when it just it just leaked out and it wasn't like everywhere <laughs> like it was it was slow it was like a lava cake it was yeah. it was great normally did what get, it says on the tin but normally you get a lava cake and it's like tough on the outside it's just true. so the inside it's true. is it can be like yeah. liquid but this is yeah this is up the, there. That, it, it is you know what you know what Tim? are you changing did i, I change mean you? That, <laughs> did i did i you're, influence you're your vote did you're I? convincing oh, yeah you influenced my vote uh, if this was right i tell you what i tell you what this is how community politics should work mm. and people should be able to have kōrero and Open people should mind. be able to think and reflect and to work together to assess <laughs> the conclusions that they've come to <laughs> and what i think is yeah i am gonna i'm gonna level this up to an eight because you, you're you're right you're right this is it's got the moisture retention mm. out to the outside it's not too tough it's perfect it's beautiful there we go Ooh. you're talking about the history of the street before right and what's really interesting is uh, we are starting to have some important conversations about effectively gentrification, for lack of a better word, right? So this street has so much history in terms of being a place for communities that have historically not found places or Tuk -tuk homes. Takatapui, yeah, our rainbow community, um, you know, the New Zealand Prostitutes Collective is just down the other side of the street. We've got LifeWise, we've got Auckland City Mission further down. Um, we've got a uh, new Kangaroo Order State Build, um, which is an amazing new 24-7 wraparound support Shout out services. to the family bar. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the family yeah, bar yeah, just down yeah. there. We've got Killing. amazing small businesses and we also have a number of residents but we also have some really cool projects that are coming up the likes of the city rail link which are going to increase accessibility and what I've heard from uh, particularly our small businesses is this fear uh, 
because they've already been told by their commercial landlords that rents are going to shoot up as soon as that new public infrastructural project opens. Now this is the really important thing to know about capital gains, right? Capital gains don't happen by virtue of some like amazing uh, genius that somebody had by buying a property and sitting on it. Capital gains happen because of the investment that we as members of the public make through our taxes and through our yeah. rates and infrastructural projects like the CRL. That our community and our small businesses make in opening new shops, kia ora, and opening new shops uh, and opening hospitality uh, and I don't know, doing walking school buses, urban food gardens, all of those things that make this a place where people want to hang out, where people want to live, where people want to engage in commerce, for example. This for me, brings us to the conversation about how do we ensure that all communities are entitled to good things like more pedestrianization, like more vibrancy, like being a place that people actually do want to live and work and play. And that's where the conversation around rent controls, both at a residential level and at a commercial level, okay. come into the picture. Because the process of gentrification, if you look at what's happened internationally, is people who can't afford to be anywhere else move into a space, invest their blood, their sweat and their tears and their innovation, which then becomes attractive to a lot of other people. And then that becomes commodified and sold off to the highest bidder. Yeah. So how do we protect the things that make this a place, a, a cultural hub in the first place? Mm. I was just going to ask not to change the titty lady. Like, if you can, <laughs> well, if you can bro, keep the she's titty basically lady. she's a Las yeah. Vegas lady. Yeah, yeah, she's she is a That's cultural what, icon. We don't know who yeah. is Las Vegas lady. Yeah. We just know what the, the lady. <laughs> That's, well, she was, she was recently repainted, That's and that I'm was saying. a big controversy. And man, yeah. she's looking she's yeah. looking the yeah, best yeah. she's ever looked. Vibrant. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm glad you laughed at that. Uh, you could have easily gone, get the hell out of here, Tim. That's not funny. Thank you for in introducing me to the breakfast, um, the, the veggie breakfast pie. You're so welcome. Let's finish these pies up, eh? And let's uh, thank we got you. It. Thank you, bro. Oh,